Hey guys, this is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, will be the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. <laughs> yeah, that's a long name. I had to read that one. But here is the packaging. It's so pretty. So it says Studio Pro all over it. It comes with 42 shades, you guys. And this only costs $19.99, of course, on bhcosmetics.com. And at the time that I purchased it, shipping was free. So literally, I got this for $19.99. No tax. Did I have tax? No, no tax, no shipping. And that's just the best. I love it. <laughs> I ordered this palette on a Wednesday and I received it that following Friday. Um, so it took about seven business days to get to me. And this palette is expected to last 24 months. I've recently started looking at how long stuff is supposed to last, even though I just use it until it's gone. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I've been taking notice of that lately. So taking this out here. <laughs> And here is the palette, you guys. I got my little fingerprints all over it already. Yep, yep. And this palette is a nice, like, I don't even know what this is called. Like, hard plastic, maybe? Hard plastic um, case, covering, whatever you want to call it. And then it has that button here to open up the palette. So here are the colors. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, I love it. A lot of nice bright. It has a purple, pink, blue, green, and it's just, you can create a ton of stuff with this. This is definitely a very versatile palette. And again, it includes satin shimmers and mattes and duo chromes. And I forgot this little slip, but it does have a slip here. Whoa. And it shows you which color is matte, which color is shimmer, which color is duochrome, things like that. So it doesn't have any shade names and it doesn't have a mirror. Up here it pretty much says there's a new newly formulated metallics, creamy mattes, small, I cannot read, soft shimmers, and intense duochromes. So yeah, it's just telling you what is in this wonderful palette. I kind of brought this on a limb. I've seen this on Instagram on Trend Mode's page and the swatches looked so good. I was like, I gotta get this. So we're just gonna get into some swatches here. So I'm gonna swatch each shade like this. So one, two. And swatch it like this. I'm gonna do each row across like this. And I'm gonna put it on my arm, but I'm not gonna necessarily live swatch it. Um, but I am gonna do each shade like one, two, swipe it on my arm, and then show you guys the whole row so we won't be swatching all night long because ain't nobody gonna find out for that. <laughs> all right guys, so here we go. All right guys, so here is the first row swatched, woo. <laughs> I'm terrible at swatches, FYI. <laughs> but I couldn't see, so I was like, um, let's just make an eyebrow. But anyway, <laughs> so here is the first row. Really nice. First one is a duochrome, then a shimmer, 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 matte, duochrome, and a shimmer. So these are really nice colors. So these are very pigmented. When I was swatching them, they are also creamy. So it's a go already. All right guys, so here is the next row. So we have metallic, metallic, shimmer, matte, duochrome, matte, matte. Look at this matte right here. Girl, this is pretty, but all these shades are pretty. These are really nice. And here is the third row. I know you guys probably, these are like purples and pinks. Let me turn my light down here. Here we go. Can you guys see that better now? The pinks and purples. And this is what I kind of played around with today is the purples. So we have a matte, matte, shimmer, metallic, matte, 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 duochrome. 
And this is the duochrome I have on my lids today. <laughs> so yes, these shades are pretty, aren't they? So I'm gonna keep the light down like this. So maybe you guys can see the rest of the colors better. Y'all, this row is so pretty. It just reminds me of like fall and leaves. It's so cute. Matte, shimmer, matte, shimmer, shimmer. This green though, y'all, this green, okay. Okay, and then matte and metallic. And this is the second to last row. Thank God, but this is so nice. Again, the browns and golds. Can y'all see that? Ah, oh, so pretty. Metallic, shimmer, metallic, metallic, shimmer, metallic, metallic, matte. Last time around, we have a metallic, a matte, a matte, a duochrome, a metallic, a shimmer, and a matte. So yeah guys, those are all the swatches and now we are about to get on to the review portion of this video. We're just going to go for it. If it turns out hideous, then at least we'll know what the pigmentation is like. <laughs> so we are starting off with the ColourPop Concealer in Deep 70 to prime our lids and we're going to take a beauty sponge and just blend that out and set it with the Sacha Buttercup Powder. Now we're taking our palette here and we're going in with this like transition shade color. And the pigment picked up on the brush really good. So we're just putting that in our transition area. And then we're going in with this purple shade. <laughs> it's like a lavender purple, like really light. But I mean, it showed up for real, for real. So I'm just putting that in our crease. And it's like, as you blended it out, it maybe got a little darker. So now I'm going in with this, oh God, like a burnt orange color. And again, the pigment is nice. And I'm just gonna define that in my crease. And then I think I go in with the blending brush and kind of blend it out a little more just to make it all kind of transition smoothly. Now I'm going in with this like lighter brown shade. I thought it was dark enough to be on the outer V, but it wasn't, so I cut that real quick. <laughs> but I did it to the other side because that's what I put down, so yeah. And now we're going in with this black color and putting that on our outer V. And we're going to blend that into our crease and to the middle of our lid. Now we're taking our NYX Mixing Medium and putting that all over our lid. Then we're taking the color where I actually put the X because I pointed to the wrong one in the video. Sorry. But this is the like purple duochrome with like pink reflex. And it's really, really nice. I didn't wet my brush. This is it with no wetting, no setting, <laughs> none of that. It's really pretty. There is some fallout on my cheek with this um, purple shade. So I go back in with the burnt orange shade just to help blend out the shimmer. And then I go back in with the black shade on the outer V again. And now I have my face on and we're gonna work on our lower lash line. So I'm putting that burnt orange color on again. And 
and then I'm taking that black shade and I'm just kind of stamping that kind of stamping and smudging that on my lower lash line and I don't think I take it all the way in so now we're taking this like pink shimmer shade and we're putting that on the inner corner this is pretty as well and so pretty. <laughs> okay <laughs> Now for our lips, we're taking Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm and just smothering that all over the lips. Oh my god, y'all. Smells so good. Like pure sugar. <sighs> Alright guys, and this is the look. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I was pretty excited. Thoughts on this palette, I definitely recommend it. If you're a beginner like me who's just like loving to have all these different makeup palettes where I can just create, I would say go for it. If you are a makeup artist and you're starting up your kit, this is definitely one of the eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend. I mean, it pretty much has all the colors you'll need, like really though i mean everything this really this really has everything this palette and the jacqueline hill morphe palette i believe those are the two palettes that you need like for anything those two combined has absolutely everything you need this is a go for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and <laughs> why am I singing anyways and until next time see